but they call me flowers. Okay, so we're gonna start off with brows. Where's my brow brush? Let's see, we're already off to a rough start. Hold on. Got my brow brush, and this is a brush by Morphe. This is just a disclaimer now. A lot of these are gonna be like not high end, some middle end, some very low end drugstore. Hell, even beauty box store. Just thought I should let y'all know that. So for my eyebrows, I'm gonna be using eyeshadow. I don't know, it just works better for me. I'm gonna be using this color right here. This is like a really old palette. I don't even remember where I got it from. I think I got it from like the mall. I'm not sure what store, but yeah, it was from the mall. So I'm very excited. This is my first day with this person. I don't know what to expect, honestly. Met them. Where did I meet them at? It doesn't matter. We're not even gonna get into all that. And I don't wanna feel it too much, y'all. I gelled up my eyebrows with Y'all are going to be like, girl, what are you doing? I use edge control for all my eyebrows. And y'all can judge me all y'all want to. I really don't care. But it works. Y'all should try it. It's no point of like buying extra products. Use the stuff that you got. You got to work what you got to get what you want. So that's what I did. And I just like using eyeshadow because it's just easy to work with. Okay, that looks good. I was thinking about doing foundation, but y'all, it is the winter time, obviously. And... I did not buy any new foundation, so my foundation is too dark. I'm just going to use my concealer all over my face. And plus, I'm just not really into the super heavy makeup anymore. I don't know what it is, but I just can't do it. So I'm going to be using LA Girl Pro Conceal Concealer for my brows. And I'm using the shade Cool Tan. Hold on, I can't talk and do this. Give me a second, y'all. And I don't really like using like too much concealer just because it's just going to be too, like I said, I want to go for like a more natural look. But I guess I shouldn't since I'm going on a date, but whatever. They just going to accept me for who I am and how I do my makeup. You don't pay attention to details. Only people that really pay attention to stuff like that is the makeup girlies. If you're not into makeup, you're not going to really notice like if it's full coverage or anything like that. Well, no, nah, some guys are catching on, but most guys, they do not know. So I'm actually going to get a different brush to do the top. I don't know. I just can't do my the top of my brow with an angled brush. I have to use, like, a flat, straight brush. My hand is down to the same color as the brush, so you probably can't see it, but I have no idea what I'm wearing. Yeah, I'm going to use this really fluffy brush. It's a, um, it is a Pro Concealer 57 brush from Sephora. Actually, let me add some more concealer to my eyelids. I'm not gonna put too much because like I said, we're gonna do kind of a light, pretty natural type of look. I want it to look like too cakey, so. And I like to bring the concealer over my nose. I don't know, it just does something for me. And I like to like run the concealer a little bit over the front of my brow, lightly. You have to do it really light. But I don't know, it just like, makes it look less harsh. Okay, so now I'm going to take my Morphe Banana Powder and I'm going to just set my eyes. You know, my skin is pretty confusing because it's not really oily, but whenever I wear makeup, it gets oily. Maybe I'm not a combination skin, so we're just going to set this real quick. I'm not, I don't want to add too much. Just now we have that set, so I'm going to start on the shadow. Y'all, I don't know what type of shadow I should do because I don't even know what I'm wearing. So maybe I'll just do like a brown look. I think I'll just keep it real cute and neutral because I just don't want to do too much. I like for my natural beauty to shine. So we're just going to keep it really light. So I'm going to take a nude color that's basically the same color as my skin tone. I'm just going to add that to the top. We're going to make it drop. Put some weird edge. Whoa. No, let's not do that. So that didn't really do too much, but I just feel like it looks less ashy, so good enough. I dropped my palette, just a disclaimer. I dropped it, some of the shadows kind of shattered, so don't judge me. And no, I didn't clean it off, because I dropped it just before I started this video, so excuse it. But I'm using the Morphe 35M palette. 
And the shadow that I'm about to go in with is this brown. It's like on the right end of the palette. So I am going to take a smaller brush. This is a Morphe M433 brush. And just put it in my crease. Maybe I'll add like a little reddish tint. Just like add a little color to my face. So I'm just gonna try to build it on the end a little bit. Do y'all have any plans for Valentine's Day? What do y'all plan on doing? Even though it's on a Tuesday, that sucks. People have to be at work. I have a job, so I'm gonna be at work on a Tuesday. That's why I'm doing it today. Today is the Saturday before Valentine's Day, so that's what we're gonna do. Now, like I said, I wanna add like a little reddish tint just to add like a little color to my face. Most likely I might be wearing like neutral colors or I don't know, I might be in there wearing pink or black or something like that. So I'm just going to go in with that same palette and I think I'm going to, do I want to use this palette? Yeah, I'm going to use this palette again. And I'm going to go in with this color. I'm going to go in with that color because it's kind, it has a kind of a brown undertone to it, but it has like that pink or mauve or whatever you call it. And I think I'm going to start like right here and I'm just going just to kind of drag it to the front of my eye. I just want to kind of build it a little bit. Ooh, yes, that was a good idea. I've been hearing more and more people say that they don't celebrate Valentine's Day, which I understand. It's a man-made holiday, so who cares? I've been hearing a lot of guys say that they don't want to celebrate Valentine's Day. My thing is, if you're not going to celebrate Valentine's Day, don't celebrate Christmas, don't celebrate Thanksgiving, don't celebrate New Year's, well, I guess that's different. Don't celebrate the rest of the man-made holidays. If you don't want to acknowledge the love day, don't celebrate the Independence Day, which don't belong to us, but that's the topic for another day. I have a lot of unpopular opinions that I know a lot of people would disagree with. So if y'all want to hear that, let me know, because I will make a video. I really don't care about what people have to say. People are always going to find something to disagree about. So I'm a very opinionated person, and if y'all want to see my opinions about like current events and different topics, let me know and y'all can also let me know like what y'all want to hear my opinion about because oh the world nowadays is just different like people are just so weird people are so sensitive like i just i just don't understand people are so close-minded i think that's the biggest thing that blows me up so if you just found an ideology and you just want to stick with that i mean i i don't understand it because that's what you hold on i'm trying to figure out what i'm gonna use next oh, what am i missing I need to bring it higher, definitely. I'm not gonna add a little more pink to the front. Let me find out I might end up wearing pink. I do not know where this is going. I'm gonna take this little pink shade right here and we're gonna add that. I have this angled Morphe brush. This is a E62 brush. I wanna put it right here. I'm gonna start in the middle just because I need to build it and I don't wanna just put too much right there then. It's just gonna mess up the whole looks. And I kind of like to bring my eyeshadow like up towards my brow. I don't know, it would just do something for my eye shape. Something very indescribable. Yeah, these guys are not celebrating love. I don't understand. And it's the guys in my generation. I'm 26. So the guys under 30, I don't know. They're just weird. Maybe I need to go to the 30s club. Y'all, I have like a, I know I'm going on a date, but I have like a little mini crush. Actually, he's two words. Just such a good guy. I don't think it's specifically him. I just like the stuff that he talks about. I like his mindset. Now it's him. So he look good too. So it's him. He just talk about elevating, building yourself, um, not staying stagnant with your life. Actually becoming the person that you need to become, the person that you want to, breaking generational curses instead of continuing them. Because a lot of people like to continue generational curses. I guess they don't really realize because it's just a cycle that they just figure, hey, my mom went through this, my dad went through this. I see every person in my family go through this, so I guess I have to go through it too. That's just what it is. That thing is you don't have to really accept that as your reality. And I just wish more people understood that. I want to bring more color to the top, so I'm taking this fluffy Morphe brush, and this is the Morphe a 441 brush and I'm gonna go in with this peachy color y'all I did not expect this to go a pink route I'm gonna have to darken it up a little bit I'm barely touching my face with this brush but I'm just gonna like bring it up just to add a little color right here because I always forget to bring up my eyeshadow so you can't really see it I don't even see this I feel like I don't see it on camera 
But that person is real cute. Y'all, that's my, that's my date. Hold on. I think he's on the way. So that means we can hurry up by seven in my hair. But okay, let's speak this up. So now, like I said, we're keeping it simple. I'm gonna keep saying that throughout this whole thing. So now we are going to take our concealer again. And I'm using the same concealer, the cool tan. I'm gonna take the same angle brush that I use for the bottom of my eyebrows. I'm just gonna add like a little brightness to my eyelid. And I'm just gonna pat it in. But I don't want it to be cut. Like I just want it to be a little lighter on my lid. I'm gonna take this fluffy brush that we use to blend out the concealer. And I'm just gonna blend out this concealer also. Okay. And I'm gonna like, kind of bring it like on my nose a little bit just because, like I say, real soft. Y'all, I haven't did eyeshadow in so long. I'm really surprised this is coming out cheap. But now we are going to add some shimmer to the eye. So now I got the Morphe 3 Top O palette. I've had all these palettes for a little minute. So it's a lot of shades missing from these palettes and I dropped them so a lot of shades just fell out. But I'm going to take this oh yeah that's a good idea yeah. i like this shade because it has like a little pink tint to it so we're gonna add that to the front of our semi cut crease let's talk about to add a little a little shine to it yeah. and we're gonna stop like in the middle of our eye so now i'm gonna use the same brush just because i don't want to mess with my other flat brush yet I wanted to transition to like a darker shimmer. So I'm going to transition to like a brown. Oh yeah. I'm going to go in back with the first Morphe palette that we was using. The 35M palette. I'm going to take this. Yes, it looks empty, but it's still like a little something in us. So yeah, I'm just going to pick it up a little bit. And I'm just going to put it in the middle. We don't want too much. Oh no, y'all. It's giving me 2016 vibes. That's how you saw my makeup. But it's cute. Hold on. Hold up. So now, like I said, I wanted to transition to brown. Because I wanted this to be a brown look. It's not brown. It's pink. So I'm going to just try to blend in those two together. Y'all, do I have a lot of Houston people that follow me? I hope so. But if y'all are from Houston, please... Tell me that you know who the Houston legends are when it comes to like rappers. Cause I had a conversation with someone I'm cool with and she was telling me that she didn't know who Bum B was. I guess she, in her defense, she said she knew it was after I showed her a picture. But I'm just like, what? I do not know his name. Houston. But do y'all know Bum B, Pimp C, Zero, Fat Pat, Big Mo? It's some old of them, I don't feel like. Everybody knows Powwow. I think people who don't live in Houston know Powwow. Oh, yes, this is gonna set it off. I didn't even show y'all what I was using because I got too excited, but Morphe M35 or 35M, whatever. But we are gonna get this other shade that's kind of gone. But it's like a brown glitter. And we are gonna put some brown on the end. Okay. Okay. Can't use, I'm excited. So now I need a brown that can fade into that. Perfect, same palette. Most of these colors are in this palette. This brown that's in the middle. And we are gonna put that on the end, just to like, is that dark enough? We gonna make it dark enough. Yeah. Now I kinda wanna bring the darkness up. Just kinda wanna like shape my eye into like a caddish eye. Now that we got that, I'm going to go back in with this M433 brush, brush, <laughs> brush, and I'm going to kind of like blend out the crease just because I, like I said, I don't want it to be a cut crease. I just want it to be a soft crease, not even a really crease. I just want it to fade real smooth together. Oh, this is so cute. Okay. That's it for the eyeshadow. So now we are going to put our lashes on. And I haven't really been into like really dramatic lashes. So I have these little ones. And I wore these already, so they're not in the box. But I got these from the V Spot store for like $5. We're gonna use mascara to just prime our lashes to make it ready for the lash. 
strips. I'm using a Maybelline Last Sensation Mascara. So cute. I can be so excited. I haven't worn eyeshadow in so long. So while we're waiting on the glue, I'm just going to add a little bit of that same Cool Tan Concealer to my little under eyes. And I'm just going to, I'm going to let that sit for a little second. I like for my concealer, especially under my eyes, to get a little tacky. Just because I feel like it gets thicker and just more full coverage and just fills in what needs to be filled in and hidden for the night. Okay, I got both lashes on. So I'm going to take that same concealer brush and I'm going to blend this out. You know, just so we can cover them bags up. And I have natural baggies. I don't know why people feel so entitled to tell me, make sure you get sleep. I see them bags coming out of your eyes. They've been here. Leave me alone. My bags are older than you. Like, people are so rude. I don't be coming at people, like, pointing out people's flaws. I don't understand why people feel like it's okay to do that to me. <laughs> but I do not. Do I give off you can talk to me any type of way? Because what kind of girl do you think that I are? The kind of she be in the bar? You think you can get whatever you want because you're some, some kind of star? You're not a star, so like calm down. I'm the one selling the records. They coming to see me. People just been acting real weird. Feeling like, I guess they just trying to make themselves feel better by trying to bring me down. But it's like, can you not, like just build yourself up instead of trying to point out people's flaws. Like, oh, she got baggies. So, you know, that makes me feel better about my fucked up hairline. It's mainly the guys too, like niggas. I just don't understand. Like, okay, so that was a cool tan. So now I'm gonna take warm honey, do that later, and I'm gonna add that to the faux heat. I ain't gonna put that much though, cause like I said, we ain't doing too much of a full coverage. I expect the lights to be dimmed, so he ain't gonna see that anyways. I'm gonna take a beauty blender and blend this out. I've been seeing more people use brushes. I haven't really been seeing beauty blenders like that on the makeup pages. But I see why they use the brushes, cause it's just, it don't, the beauty room is kind of take away some of the product. But that's what I like about it. Like whenever I'm trying to do like a not so full coverage look, I like to use beauty blenders just because it kind of just like shows your skin. It puts the lotion on the skin. What movie is that? Y'all remember that? So he was like, it puts the lotion on its skin. And it was like a man in a hole. But that was a movie, it was funny. Okay, so now we're using contour. I'm using a cream contour. This is the Fit Me Concealer in the shade Walnut, which is also 50, shade 57. So I'm just gonna add like a few, I don't like heavy contours. So I'm just gonna add a few dots. And I'll just put it under my nose and I also like to put, put it right there because it, it makes it like a little bit nose. Oh, and I'd like to add a little bit to the top of the forehead. I'm gonna add some to the contour. Contour. Okay, so for the no, well, let's run out the forehead because I do not want to look like I got punched in the head. I got this little mini blender and I'm just going to use it on my nose. And I'm going to raise, like just blend that up. And I like to raise it like all the way into this space. I probably should wait. No, then it would have been makeup in my edges. Oh no, our table—it's broken. Oh, that's so funny to me. So I'm gonna go back in with the warm honey, just cause I don't like my cheeks being all crazy looking. I'm just gonna add like a few little lines like that. Cause that's enough for me. Oh, like I said, I don't really like too much makeup. Now I'm gonna set the concealer under my eye and I am using, once again, Beauty Supply Store products. This is an e.l.f. powder blurring brush. I was about to say blushing, but it's blurring. Now this do blur stuff out. Someone told me I like a walk-in filter. I was like, thank you so much. That's what I was going for. My neighbors are so loud. I swear, my other apartment building, I've never really heard my neighbors. But here, they're being up fighting. 
They should be getting cheated on with everything. And how I know that? Cause y'all go out. And I, we are gonna go in with some, just darken up our contour a little bit. Oh, I like to bring my concealer like right above my eyebrow too. So I just don't be feeling the under eye shadow anymore. But you know, we're gonna, we're gonna add a little bit just because I, I just didn't pick up the wrong shade, but I kind of like how it looks. So I actually picked up this shade that's right under it, this darker brown, and I like how it looks. Now we are gonna use a blush, and the blush I got is a NYX Sweet Cheeks Matte Blush, and this is in the color Bang Bang. So now I'm gonna use my setting spray, the same setting spray I used on my brushes, and I'm just gonna, you know, spray it. So I'm just gonna add some, this is gonna really set it off. This with the lip, this is gonna really set this lip off. Ooh, okay. This look really came together, this is cute. The lip really gonna set it off, hold on. The lip liner that I'm gonna be using is the MAC in the color Court. Okay, so I'm gonna go on with this lip cream stain by Sephora. It is in the color 22. This is very pigmented and the brush picks up so much product. So I kind of like scrape some off. And I only like add it to the middle of my bottom lip just because, like I said, it's, cream, it's a lot of product on this brush. And a little goes a long way with cream lipsticks. I don't know, I feel like my lips are blending in my face. So I think I'm gonna go in with this NYX lip gloss instead in the color of Bit of Honey. And it's just like a darker pink shade. So I just feel like it will add, or maybe I'll use both, let's see. Let's see how this looks first. Actually, I'm using three different lip gloss. I'm about to go in with the, um, with the Ice lip gloss by Maybelline. I think it looks good. Y'all, hopefully this lighting is better and y'all can see my makeup better and it don't look as ashy. Cause I swear it's cuter in person. Let's get into this hair. But I'm really not that good at curling. So let's see how this turns out. Y'all, and don't talk about my curling iron. I know it's wobbly, it's really old. I've been literally having this since high school and I graduated in 2015. So you do the math. And I've been having this since what, like my sophomore year? So. Since 2013? Okay. We're already off to a start. We're off starting. Y'all, oh my God. Y'all, I need to learn how to curl hair. And I don't have enough clips, y'all, it's a struggle. I'm gonna draw with my handy in the fan. Let's hope this actually does what it, I expect it to do. Um, you know, it is what it is at this point. It might be perfect. I'm telling myself this, I won't feel no type of way. I think that's what it is. I need a better curl and iron. And I just need to work on my technique. I feel like I'm moving like I don't have nowhere to go. Um, it's it's a curl, what's a wave, good enough. I was wondering like, what hair is this? This is actually that wig that I turned into a U-part wig. So I have a video of this on my channel. So if y'all wanna see how I turned this wig into a U-part wig, the biggest thing is like, how did I blend my pixie cut with this wig? So if you wanna see how I blend, blended my pixie cut, make sure you check out that video. Oftentimes I forget that I even have a pixie cut because I really don't wear it. Cause it's just like, I feel like I'm getting to that, like that awkward length. Like it's just a weird length. When I first cut it, it was like this short. And y'all, I ain't gonna lie. I'm regretting cutting my hair. If we keep it a honey. Tate, is that you? I'm cringing. On how I'm curling this hair. I'm about to go for elegant, loose, 
body weight type of a uh, getting that. Is it giving at all? I still don't know what I'm wearing. That's the, the crazy part. Cause this not gonna take me long to do. better than it did before. So, good enough, right? Now I'm gonna take this comb, I'm gonna use the wide end, and I'm just gonna comb out these waves. This side is still a little high, so maybe I shouldn't comb it out so soon. And I'm gonna just try to brush my leave out because like I told y'all, I got a pixie cut it, so. It's different different protocols for a pixie cut. I know you want to usually brush your leave out, but with pixie cut, you have to. For the ladies with short hair, so now y'all know. So yeah, this is how the hair is looking. I think this looks really cute. It's cute, we can do a 360. Oh, we can't. <laughs> okay, so we got the hair done, we got the makeup done, we got everything did, but the outfit, like I don't know what I'm wearing still, so let's try to find an outfit, cause I have no idea what I even want to wear. Y'all, we in the closet. It's room dark, but you know, whatever. My clothes suck. My selection suck. And I probably look like... Ma'am, are you wearing bottoms? Of course I'm wearing bottoms! It's just blending in my skin a little bit. But yeah, I don't know when I'm wear. My clothes suck. Maybe this, since we did like pink. But it's kind of... I don't know. This is cute. It's a little saucy. We ain't dancing or nothing. We just eat it. But, I mean, it is cute. Maybe I should try it on. And I also have this dress that I got from Forever 21. And I got it dry clean because I was supposed to wear it and never wore it. But the thing is, I lost weight. So I really don't know if I can fit this anymore. So I don't know. But it's between these two. Oh, maybe I can wear like a jumpsuit. I do not. Yeah, so I decided to go with the pink dress. I feel like it looks really cute and girly. I mean, it's cold outside, but you know, no big deal. And I decided to pair with these Silver Heels from Zara. I really wish I would've had a silver bag. That would've set it off way better, but I think this looks really cute. I think the whole look just, just does it for me, but. Okay, so I decided to go with the pink dress. I know look, I don't have anything on, but I'm wearing the pink dress. I think it's really cute. So now for our fragrance. So I think I'm gonna do a combination. And these are two fragrances that I had in my fragrance video. So if you haven't seen it, definitely go check that out because I have some gems in there. That's pretty affordable too. Well, kind of. Yeah, I think I'm gonna mix the Good Girl by Carolina Herrera and the Swiss Arabian perfume. I've never done this combination before, so I really don't know how this is about to smell. Now for the perfume, I'm just gonna spray. Spray. Okay. I think on me flowers. You ready? Do y'all wanna come on a date with me? I think I'm gonna bring y'all. Okay, come on, let's go. What are we about to watch? you actually have a date and you go actually going out tomorrow please do this look this is so cute hopefully you have to see the eyeshadow because like i said it is giving in person it's just not the camera is just a little weird okay so that's the end of this video i would like to thank you all so much for tuning in please try this look um, if you do try it please dm me like as i always tell y'all if y'all try anything that i 
ask y'all to try do you because i want to see especially if you try it on valentine's day and let me know how your day reacted if you do this makeup look and this perfume combination so if you did that also let me know what you think about it it do smell good please do not forget to subscribe because i noticed a lot of people that's watching my videos aren't subscribers like so if you're watching this video and you like what you see and you want more content like this please subscribe so you can get more of this type of content from me thank you guys so much and i hope you enjoy your valentine's day bye Been a few hours, but it felt like days Only been days, but it felt like months Been gone for a year, only go like once Life move fast when you do what you want